Gaza, a relatively small area, is home to over 2 million people, squeezed into a space not much larger than the state of New Jersey. It's governed by Hamas, an organization designated as a terrorist group by the United States and its Western partners. Throughout its existence, Hamas has consistently pursued one major goal, the elimination of Israel. In response, Israel has now declared its intention to reciprocate this aim, escalating tensions in the region. Hamas has held control in Gaza since 2007, and during this time, they've confronted significant challenges, primarily from Israel and Egypt, which have imposed blockades on multiple fronts. This situation has even led to four major wars between Hamas and Israel. The recent upsurge in violence can be linked back to the simmering tensions in East Jerusalem, with a focal point being the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Hamas asserts that their actions stem from Israeli practices, including the detention of Palestinians in Israeli jails. They're also concerned about certain Arab nations drawing closer to Israel. It's essential to note that Hamas was democratically elected and has taken on the role of providing basic services to its Palestinian people. While some Western countries label them as terrorists, to many, they are seen as heroes defending their homeland. Adding to the complexity of regional dynamics. This recent Hamas attack and capture in Israel areas have deeply angered Israelis. In retaliation, they've conducted a series of bombings in the Gaza Strip, a stronghold of Hamas. Unfortunately, these strikes have caused casualties among the most vulnerable, including children and the elderly. It's distressing to note that these strikes do not discriminate, and Israel has claimed that Hamas is using hospitals and schools as hiding spots though this does not justify harm to innocent civilians. This situation is growing increasingly day by day, and there are concerns it could spill over into other areas. Situation along the Israeli-Gaza border has seen a substantial buildup of Israeli troops, raising concerns about the potential for a significant ground invasion into the Gaza Strip. Israeli military authorities have underlined the strength of their defensive measures, stating that they've established an imposing barrier composed of tanks, helicopters, and aircraft encircling Gaza. This military escalation has been accompanied by continued airstrikes, targeting the region from the air, intensifying an already critical and volatile situation. The toll of this ongoing conflict has been devastating on both sides. The latest reports indicate that Israel's retaliatory airstrikes have resulted in the loss of at least 1,000 lives in Gaza with approximately 4,500 individuals sustaining injuries. Meanwhile, on the Israeli side, the conflict has claimed the lives of more than 1,300 people. Amid these heightened tensions, the energy crisis in Gaza has reached a critical juncture. The Gaza Energy Authority has issued an alarming warning, stating that they are left with a mere 10 to 14 hours of fuel reserves. To compound this crisis, Israel has imposed a comprehensive blockade, severing essential supplies such as water, fuel, and electricity to the Gaza Strip, referring to it as a complete siege. This blockade has placed immense strain on Gaza's already fragile infrastructure, including its healthcare facilities, many of which are operating at or beyond their capacity. The international response has been quite diverse. Western nations have largely sided with Israel, condemning Hamas. In contrast, UAE and Saudi Arabia have called for calm and a ceasefire. Iran and Hezbollah, however, express support for the attacks on Israel. The Israel-Palestine conflict is an intricate and highly sensitive issue that continues to draw the world's attention.